Hello my good people, welcome again to our YouTube channel. My name is Daniel, as usual from the Okema Empire. And in our today's video, I will be talking about our flight experience to the United States when we first flew here. So of course, flight is the most exciting part of the DV lottery. This is the part now you are sure that you are traveling or you are moving from Kenya to the United States after all the hassles, getting the first notification, feeling your DS-260 form which is hectic, then waiting for long for you to get your second notification. Then once you get your second notification, you also start the journey of uh, your medicals. Also here, you are not sure whether you pass your medicals with the large family that we had. Then finally, the day of the interview came. Here is also a challenge. You are not sure whether you are going to get the visa. But after receiving our visas, we looked for some money. We booked our flights. And the actual day of uh, our travel came. Then we checked in. 1 hour to 11.45 p.m. That was our flight time. And we were cleared. And I remember the last point where we all knew that now we were traveling is the point where the last gate to the boarding section where it's written Kwaheri Kenya. Bye bye Kenya. So here everyone who is traveling out of Kenya for the first time or another time, we'll always take pictures at that specific point where it's written that Kwaheri, Kenya, meaning that now you are leaving Kenya for an international mission. So we took pictures, which we always keep for remembrance, and then we were directed to the boarding section. Here we you are supposed to wait, or we waited, for like 30 minutes and then later came an announcement that flight number one two three like that from Nairobi to Frankfurt German Nairobi is written as Nairobi when you travel internationally it's not Nairobi so it's a Nairobi to Frankfurt German it's arriving in the next 20 minutes so we were prepared for us to to enter to the plane after some 20 minutes then we were settled then we were given our seats and the lucky thing when we booked we booked as a family and our seats the four of them they were on a line in one row so we seated close to each other actually on uh, one straight line so after that we were given instructions from the captain and the cabin crew. We were told what to do. First thing was tighten up your belts. So everyone in the plane does that. Then we were given safety rules and regulations. In case of emergence, you, we were told where we can get the safety gears. For example, the masks in case of smoke in the car how to eject from your seat, and how also to put on the safety gears on the small baby that we carried. All those are given within the plane. And then after a while, after like 20, 30 minutes, then the captain now say that we are taking off. Then we are instructed to put our phones on flight mode. Then it took off like that. The excitement now came in after a while, after like uh, uh, 10 minutes of uh, the uh, being airborne, the networks in our phones disappeared. We were given uh, gadgets, headphones that we could use to listen to music. And in front of each seat, there is a screen where you can listen to the music, watch movies, which are installed in the system, 
and many other things. So this is the part where our kids were so much excited. So everyone was given the headphone and then they went on listening to the music, watching movies from this to that. And then our flight was to take uh, 8 to 10 hours to Frankfurt. Then after like 3 hours, they came around, they served us supper. And here, we never knew, especially the young ones, what to order or what to be served. So they give you a variety of like 3 meals. We are serving this, beef and this, chicken and the other. So everyone said, let's have chicken. And being the first time for the kids to travel, the meals was not tasting. They only took the chicken. The sauce was not that appetizing to them. So they only concentrated on the drinks, the soft drinks that is given in the plane. Then we went on after a while, they slept, and then they woke up in the morning. Then they went to the bathroom, they wiped their faces, and then we were served with breakfast before landing in uh, Frankfurt, German, uh, around 11 in the morning. So here now, this is where now the hassle began. The kids kept on asking, Daddy, Mommy, where are we going? It's, it's becoming too long. How, how come that we have not reached where we were going? So we kept on telling them, no, still we have another part. We will be staying in this airport for like six hours waiting for the connecting plane to the United States. So here, that's where we had problems. So they said they are angry. They needed food. We purchased some food in Frankfurt, German. The foods there, they are international food. They have never tested. So when we buy this, they test, it's not, not good for them. They also ask another thing. So we end up spending a lot of money in terms of food when we went German. But finally, we got to a section where we had some cake, pancake, bought some pancake and a cork. Then this is the meal now. They enjoyed as we waited for our connecting uh, uh, flight to the United States. So around after five hours of waiting, our plane came. We were prepared on boarding section. Then we were told we are leaving the next 20 minutes like that. Then we took off exactly as they announced. Then here now the flight to the United States was the easy one. Because now we kept on telling them now we are going to where we had planned to go. We are going to the United States. So here everyone was awake, was keen. We started around 4 and then we arrived in the United States around 4 again. Because we are going to the West. So all that... Uh, the kids were asking so uh, so many questions. They were so curious on what are we going to do? What are we going to meet? How is the place? So we always told them, you wait and you will see. So when we landed in Denver International Airport around uh, 6 in the evening, uh, here again, we went through security check, declaration forms. Then we went through immigration. And then later on, we were cleared, we got our luggages, and we started now looking for our host, because there is no way you can reach your host before you are being cleared, given your luggages, and then you are directed to where you can go and wait for your host. So we did that, we tried our best to reach our host in time. He also came in time, and then uh, our problem was now, the airport is so big, Denver International Airport is the biggest ever airport in the United States. So we never knew where we were going until we asked him, what is the procedure? How can you get us? Then he told us that you go as per the section and the plane that you traveled in. Then that's the time we were directed to Lufthansa West uh, Wing or section. Then we went there. Then he found us. He took us to his house. So here, that is the time now we started seeing things now moving so fast. From the moment we were picked from the airport to his home or to his house, it's like one hour drive. 
So here things were moving so fast. Driving. Vehicles move so fast. So we were saying, oh, is this America we have been waiting for? How are we going to manage the stress? How are we going to manage this process all through? So we kept on saying that our good Lord who has seen us through from the time we applied for the DV Lottery 2022 to the time now we are landed in the United States and now we are about to start life. So we say that he will never leave us. He will always see us through. So we bought the house. He prepared some meals. Here now, the meals taste different. Not like the one that we normally use in our place. Everything, every sauce, everything that they add to the meal, the flavor is very is very different in this case so we try to encourage them to take bread bread is not the same as the one we take in kenya so you see all everything so with time they got to adjust and then they moved on and here now we are pushing on and enjoying life in the united states thank you guys for watching and i will be able to share more and more other stories about our journey to the United States and what we normally do here. Thank you and may God bless you all. Those ones watching us for the first time, make sure that you share, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. May God bless you all.